making an Italian tomato salad, which is my favorite summer salad. Stay tuned. Please subscribe and ring the bell so you'll get a notification of all of our new videos. Hey everybody, it's Cliff with Kitchen Dads. Welcome back, or if you're here for the first time, welcome. We are gonna make Italian, what I call it Italian tomato salad. It's a salad that I had growing up um, ever since I can remember. Um, it's, it's the way I liked, I learned to like tomatoes and the way my kids like to learn to like tomatoes. Uh, actually, when I started out, I didn't like the tomato itself. I just liked the juice to dip the bread in and then now I eat the tomatoes. So uh, it's, it's super simple. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of variations on it, but I just wanted to share this with you because it's summer and tomatoes are plentiful and this is so good. So let's get to it. First, you need uh, some really ripe tomatoes. Now, here, I want you to know, I grew these in my own garden, which is a, which is a big thing because I'm not that much of a gardener. I'm, I'm more of a cook. So if you're a gardener, I've got a deal for you. You grow it, I cook it, and then we eat it. I'm hoping that, you know, if anybody's a taker for that, you know, let me know. You can ship me some vegetables and I'll ship you some food. Um, so the first thing is you have to use fresh tomatoes, right? They have to be fresh. It has to be in the summer. I've tried to make this in the winter. Those things that they put in the stores in the, in the winter aren't even really tomatoes. They're just tomato flavored styrofoam balls. But you need really, really good tomatoes. The other thing I want to mention is that I'm doubling this recipe. So if you see this recipe in my book or my website, um, that recipe is for like one to two. I'm going to take this dish and actually go to a party tonight and bring it. So I'm going to, this is the double of what, what normally is in the, in the book, just so you know. So, uh, I'm going to take probably three, probably four medium sized tomatoes like this. If they were the big, big beef steak, the big fat ones, probably two would be good. And then we want to, we want to just cut out the, uh, you know, we want to cut out the core and you want the juicy tomatoes. Now we're going to cut these things in slices, probably one inch pieces. You know, there's nothing like a homegrown tomato. I don't know what it is. I've tried to find tomatoes in the store, hothouse tomatoes. Nah, just something about a, a homegrown tomato. I also get tomatoes where sometimes if you, you know, if you, if you just, if your only option is a store purchased tomato, try to go with the ones on the vine and then let them sit around for a little bit because it, uh, it'll help them make them really juicy. The other question I get is, Cliff, sometimes I don't have those. I just they have a bunch of cherry tomatoes. Grew these also. Again, you know, it's a big thing for me because I usually don't have much success with gardening. Uh, cherry tomatoes are great, but they have to be super ripe because we're looking for the juice. And so you can do, cherry tomatoes i would cut them in quarters and then put them in you can add them in because remember it's not, it's it's all about the flavors melding together and i've done it before with a neighbor gave me like a whole big bunch of cherry tomatoes and uh it was just as good all right so now we're going to take that we're going to add in about uh, four cloves of garlic we're going to make some pretty big garlic chunks you don't want people really to eat the garlic because after this marinates for a couple days, you're gonna to wanna to eat the garlic yourself, if you like garlic. All right. And then we are going to add in an oil. Now, when I grew up, we were using corn oil and vegetable oil, found out that really wasn't that great. I had to find a substitute, I found a great substitute. I like to use a really light olive oil. Uh, my favorite is Bertoli. They have a light taste oil. I don't know if you can see that, it's a light taste oil. And it's, it's non-GMO, it works great. Um, use whatever oil you like, but this is the one I found that really, that doesn't overpower the, uh, the flavors of the tomatoes. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add in a cup and a half. All right. Then we are gonna add in some salt. Let's just bring that to here. Some salt. These are a quarter teaspoon by the way, for your, uh, and these are a teaspoon for the, your measure people out there. Um, this is one of those recipes and some pepper, fresh ground pepper. If you don't have fresh ground pepper, that's fine too. Just regular pepper is just fine. A, a, uh, a quarter, a quarter teaspoon, quarter teaspoon. That's right. Then basil from my garden. It's, uh, you know, I know I'm just proud. I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm like, keep mentioning that I actually grew these things because if you could see my garden, Normally, 
you'd be proud of me too. <laughs> Fresh basil. And all we're going to do, we're like five, six, eight leaves. We're just, I'm going to bring this over here. We're going to just tear this, right? You don't want to cut it. You want, you want the oils from the basil to come out. Uh, it doesn't matter. Big chunks, little chunks. And at that point, you're pretty much done. Let this sit for a while. Make this in advance. Uh, the, the juices from the tomatoes will come out into the, into the oil. It's fantastic. Um, now comes the, now for your keto and your low carb people, this is where you need to stop. I do keto, I do low carb, you know, but I make exceptions for things. This is what an exception. You gotta have some bread for the dipping in the juice. Some nice uh, white Italian bread, just any kind of nice light bread. And, and you just, you put it in the oil after the tomatoes have marinated. Mmm, 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 mmm. Did you hear that? I think it was the tomato angels because it's just so good. It's just so good. So anyway, that's my take on my favorite Italian tomato salad. I want you to try it. Let me know if you have any. And as always, keep on cooking.